Namaste. Today's Yin Yoga pose is to look at the variations of the half butterfly. The half butterfly pose stretches the back of the legs, the hamstrings, and possibly also the spine. In Chinese medicine, this series of postures will stimulate the urinary bladder meridian. The classical pose for this half butterfly will be to straighten one leg and bend the other knee. And as you fold forward, look for the stretch on the back of the leg, the hamstrings. And if you're looking for a spine stretch, you're free to angle the body either between both the legs, so you get more stretch on the left side of the spine, or if you're more in the center, you get a stretch more evenly distributed. If you move to the outside of the leg, you get more stress to the right side of the spine. So where you choose to angle the body is dependent on what part of the spine do you want to feel the stress. Now we know that not everybody can sit in this half butterfly position, often due to the orientation of the hip socket. So if you find students coming into half butterfly and their knees are high off the floor, and chances are they'll be a better candidate to flip the foot around towards the back and allow the knee to come inwards this way. We call this the half frog variation. And in this half frog variation, you're also welcome to experiment the width of the knees. It could be very wide apart or it could be very close to the straightened leg. What's important is that when you fall forward, Again, you're looking for the target area, which is the hamstring of the straightened leg. And angle the body in different position to look for the appropriate stress to the part of the spine that you want to stretch. Another alternative is to place that bent knee on top of the straightened leg, and we call this the half shoelace. This is typically a much stronger variation of the hamstring stretch because of the weight of the top leg pressing down against the bottom leg. So by the time you fall forward, this can be a much intense stretch compared to the first two variations. So I'll review again the three alternative or the three variation for stretching the hamstrings or the spine. The first is half butterfly, where the foot is in front of the body. The second variation is to place the foot to the back. This is the half frog, and the third is to place the bent leg on top of the straightened leg, and we call this the half shoelace. Students who have difficulty trying to tilt forward, they can easily take a block, sit up higher on a block or a bolster, and that will allow the hips to tilt forward much easily. I hope you enjoy this series of hamstring and spine stretch. If you want to know all the variation for other poses, check out my other videos on YouTube. Namaste.